Hello, John Zimmerman with Tablet Class Math. And today I want to test your knowledge of algebra. Let's take a look at this problem here. So before I explain it, I'll give you a chance to figure it out. It's pretty, actually pretty simple. But um, So here we have two points, and these two points, these coordinates, are on palm trees in uh, a lovely state of California. But anyway, so you can imagine them to be on graph paper, whatever the case is. But the application is still the same. So let's say these two points, okay, we have two points here on these palm trees, and the respective points are located at the coordinate 3, 7, okay, so the x, y coordinate or ordered pair 3, 7 and 8 and 14. So my question to you is, if I wanted to find the distance between these two points, okay, can I do that? Okay, and the, and the answer is yes, you can do that. And there's actually a formula for it. So before I speak any further, you may want to go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure this thing out. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is using the distance formula. So that's a little clue. And if you want to go ahead and look that up and, and then um, see if you can attempt the problem, you know, I certainly would encourage that. But let's take a look at the distance formula. The distance formula will tell us the distance between two ordered pairs or two um, points on the xy plane. And even though that these two points are sitting out here on palm trees, there's still um, uh, coordinates. Okay, And that's the thing. is If you have two coordinates, you can find the distance between those two coordinates. And the formula, it's pretty straightforward, it looks like this. It's going to be the entire square root of the difference of the x coordinates. And we're going to square that. And we're going to add that to the difference of the y coordinates. Okay, so this is the formula. So we're going to look at the x coordinates. We're going to take the difference or subtract them and then square that answer. And we're going to add that to the difference of the y coordinates squared. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so the distance is going to be, and by the way, when you're working with formulas, the Probably one of the most critical parts is, um, do you know how to use a formula? Do you know what the values mean? Okay, so here, the difference of the x values, and it doesn't make a difference whether you start with 3 and 8, but these are the x coordinates. I'm going to go ahead and, and write it as 8 minus 3. Okay, that's the difference of the x coordinates squared, plus the difference of the y coordinates would be 14 minus 7. Okay, and then we're going to square that. So once we do this calculation, we will have found the distance between those two points. Now it's a matter of going ahead and working this out and being mindful of the order of operations, etc. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do this rather quickly. So this is going to be the 8 minus 3 squared, which is going to be 5 squared. And notice I'm just going to write my steps um, one at a time. I'm not trying to do the entire problem one step. 14 minus 7 is 7. Okay, so that's going to be 7 squared. So the distance is going to be the square root of 5 squared, which is 25, plus 7 squared, which is 49. So we're going to add 49 plus 25, and that is 74. So the distance is going to be the square root of 74. Now if these units here represented the distance on our graph, if you want to think of it this way, if this is graph paper, Okay, and each unit represented maybe a foot or five feet, then we can actually get an actual uh, value, put a unit, um, a measure associated with this. But right, if you got to this point, okay, the distance was a square root of 74, then that's that's good. And of course, you can go into your calculator and find a, an estimate of that. But um, what I wanted to do is show you the application of the distance formula in something other than just a kind of boring... Uh, graph paper, if you will. So hopefully you enjoyed this problem. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos, uh, certainly subscribe to me on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, or better yet, come on over to tabletclass.com and take a free trial with me. Have a great day.